Hi, we're Nick and James from Creair. So, quite a few subscribers have requested that we start sharing tips and tutorials for the popular open source e-commerce platform Magento. So this week we thought we'd oblige with a quick and simple tip for web designers who work with both WordPress and Magento. If you're familiar with both platforms, you'll know that WordPress is fantastic for creating a blog or news platform, and Magento is very powerful and complete e-commerce system. If, like us, you develop websites that utilise both WordPress and Magento, you may have come across a dilemma with searching. As you probably know, both systems have their own capable built-in search feature. Magento's search feature will search through products, categories and CMS that can be found within Magento. And similarly, WordPress has its own search feature that will scan blog posts, categories and CMS pages that reside within WordPress. The dilemma then comes when you want to integrate a search form onto your website's template. Do you integrate Magento's search form, allowing the user to search through the, the products, or WordPress's search form, allowing people to search through the blog posts? The answer is both. In this week's tutorial, we'll show you a simple way of achieving this with a little JavaScript. So my colleague Rob Kent and I have put together this simple HTML page to show you uh, this combined search form and also explain a little bit about how it works. So first of all, I've pasted in a simple WordPress search form and I've stripped off all the unnecessary styling and uh, bits that don't need to be there. And we've done the same thing with a Magento form. And what we want to achieve is a single search form that will allow us to search WordPress and Magento. So we have the keyword input field here. Then what we're going to ask the user to do is to select whether they want to search the WordPress system or the Magento system. And obviously on a live website, we could change WordPress for blogs and we could change Magento for products, so it's a lot more usable. So first of all, let's have a look at the two forms for WordPress and Magento and see how they differ. So this is the first WordPress one, and then here we have the Magento form. Now they're both form method get, which is great. They both uh, action the uh, in WordPress actions the folder where you've installed WordPress. So that could be the root layer if you've installed WordPress on the root, or it could be forward slash blog, forward slash WordPress. And then with the Magento form, it's very similar. Uh, so in this case, I've installed um, Magento in a folder called shop, and you just also add in catalog search result slash result. So two different um, form actions for each of the search form and then the input uh, field where you insert your keywords on WordPress it has name equals S and on Magento it has name equals Q so those two points are both important so if we were to have a universal form like we've created here we would essentially need a little bit of JavaScript that decides whether you pick WordPress or Magento to change when you push submit the form action to either the Magento one or the WordPress one and second to that, it also needs to change the keyword name from S or Q, again, depending on whether you pick WordPress or Magento. So JavaScript's going to jump in and insert the correct set um, of HTML, depending on whether we want WordPress or Magento to search for. So the JavaScript that we've done here um, is available to copy and paste from our supporting blog post, along with the rest of this file at creadesign.co.uk forward slash blog forward slash videos. So it's quite uh, literally as simple as that. And um, there are other complex ways of combining your WordPress Magento searches by going into the databases and, uh, and messing around with the PHP. But this is quite a simple um, and effective way. You can literally have this dropped in and working on your website within sort of 10 or 15 minutes. So let's see this in action on one of our websites. So mamababybliss.com. You'll see here at the top there's a search field and we can enter a keyword. So let's try the keyword baby and you can see again the little drop downs here so we can search either the articles which is the WordPress system or we can search products which is the Magento system and you can simply change what, um, you know, what it says in the HTML if we go to the code view it's the value of the option fields that you need to keep as WP or Mage in order for our JavaScript to identify so the, the black part here WordPress or Magento you can literally change that to say whatever you would like to say so that in like in this case it's articles and products so let's search for baby in articles and you'll see that the search results are the WordPress search results which pull up the um, blogs and articles that, that reside within the WordPress content management system and then let's try the same search again but let's this time switch from articles to products so we're going to be searching the Magento system so if we search baby products, you'll see that we've now got the search results coming through 
for our Magento installation, which shows us all the baby products on our website. So nice and simple, and everything that you've seen in this tutorial is available on our supporting blog post. Thank you for watching this week's video blog, and a quick thank you to one of our designers, Yarko, who drew the new illustrations of Nick and I that you might have seen at the start of this video.